The first challenge for MPs today, could they get to the office, the House of Commons? There was much heavier police presence around West Block. MPs returned not only to get back to the people's business, but for the symbolic importance. I think uh, it is important in a democracy to show that we would be there. Folks like this are not going to stop me from doing my job. But it was a nervous time for some MPs navigating through crowds that have been raucous. It's worrying to come into work. I had to walk in with my staff and I was worried about them. I was worried about, you know, safety of people that are coming to the Hill to do their jobs. The Prime Minister was not in. He now has COVID along with his two children, so is isolating. I feel well and have no symptoms. But his message to protesters encircling Parliament was blunt. We are not intimidated by those who hurl insults and abuse. There is always a right to protest peacefully that I and others will defend fully as part of this democracy. There is not a right to incite violence, to perform acts of violence. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The chamber where Canada's political differences are hashed out did resume without disruption. The opposition leader's first question, would the PM meet with specific protesters, namely the truckers who want border vaccine mandates dropped? Will the Prime Minister move past the division and agree to meet with some of the truckers impacted by his federal regulations? But Trudeau had made clear he would not meet with the protesters and he will not back off vaccine mandates. The best way through this pandemic is to get people vaccinated. That's how we end the disruptions to our supply chains caused by this global pandemic. One Conservative MP was happy to address demonstrators, not supporting those with extreme views, but those fed up with the restrictions. I'm a supporter of, of what their message is, and that's uh, freedoms and, and uh, the mandates. Anti-vax Canadians and those opposed to all mandates represent just a small percentage of the country. In political terms, the government has seldom found itself with an issue so one-sided, an issue this Liberal government is quite comfortable debating. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Ottawa.